Hello Squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is an AVB switch and particularly a PreSonus SW5E AVB switch. Now remember you cannot use an ordinary switch to route AVB traffic. You need a dedicated AVB switch like the SW5E which has five ports four of which are capable of power over Ethernet. Why should you have one of these? Well, let's back up a little bit and uh, talk about AVB generally. Uh, the first bit of AVB kit I bought was a PreSonus 16R. And I bought that for several reasons. One, because it had 16 mic inputs at a reasonable price. And if you're looking around at 16 uh, mic input interfaces, you'll know that's, um, that's not easy to find. Secondly, it's part of the whole PreSonus ecosystem alongside their uh, Studio One software, but also their capture software which is an excellent kind of uh, location uh, multi-track recorder. And thirdly, because it had AVB. And because it had AVB, I looked forward to a future where it could interconnect with other AVB devices and build an audio network, which is what AVB is all about. Now, in the short term, I only had one AVB device, which was my Mac uh, Air, MacBook Air. Now, the MacBook Air that I have is a few years old, but if your MacBook Air or any other Mac has got... Um, a Thunderbolt port, then it is AVB compatible. And there's AVB software within macOS to help you configure it and run it. Now, what that meant was that I could put my uh, PreSonus 16R up to 100 meters away from my recording laptop and uh, send a signal down Cat5. Not too shabby. But of course, eventually you want more. So uh, I decided to add a second uh, AVB device and I wanted something that would open the door to my uh, MADI uh, RME mic amp. So I wanted something that had AVB on it and MADI on it. So I settled on a Motu uh, 112D, which is an absolutely wonderful bit of kit. It's got no analog on it whatsoever, but it's got ADAT coming out of its ears. It's got ASEBU. It's got um, Thunderbolt. It's got uh, USB. And it's got the all-important AVB and MADI. Great, so I'm flying. Well, I'm flying-ish because, of course, with two devices, AVB works fine. You plug one end into one, you want to plug the other one into the other, and that's it. I, would you call that a network? I don't know, but it's it, two devices. But now, my MacBook cannot play into that equation because to do that, to add a third device, I need a switch. And uh, the other thing I needed, although I didn't know it then, was a bit more knowledge about AVB. I don't confess to be anything other than a rank amateur, uh, so please don't uh, consider uh, me anything other than that. But um, AVB is not as simple as it sounds. Um, MADI, in my experience, relatively straightforward. Uh, you plug it in and the stuff at that end appears at that end. Um, of course, MADI isn't a network, although there's lots of routing stuff uh, now available. Um, however, AVB implementation has been a little bit inconsistent. Uh, PreSonus found that in that their first generation stuff didn't work with their latest stuff. And um, there are still slightly different implementations and PreSonus and Motu do have slightly um, different approaches. The good news is that PreSonus have joined the Milan group of AVB manufacturers. You can see many big names there from the world of PA systems, but also uh, Intel, Cisco and Avid. Uh, this group of AVB manufacturers are working together to ensure that all our AVB gear works together seamlessly. Now, uh, no doubt about it, PreSonus are charging into AVB, into compatibility. They're really up in their game on all things AVB. And if I can recommend you uh, Beers with the Beard, <laughs> which is a YouTube channel, you can tune in there and get some uh, top quality PreSonus information about AVB uh, for free and a good look uh, uh, at a great big ZZ Top Beard while you're there. Um, now, they very kindly uh, have sent me this because I was dabbling my toes in the, the intercompatibility between Motu and PreSonus. PreSonus um, have kindly sent me a switch. So let's just talk um, about the switch. Now, what the switch does was enable you to connect multiple AVB devices together and to route the AVB streams uh, between them. 
Now, the, the switch is, in one sense, uh, just like any other switch, you can plug it into your uh, home network or, your, or any um, uh, IP network, and um, it behaves itself uh, completely. And obviously, when you do that, um, you can uh, assign it an IP address, or it'll uh, be automatically signed one over DHCP, and then you can log into it and have a look and see what's inside. And inside, to be honest, there's not a lot to see, just some network information and the chance to um, update your IP and uh, load some new firmware. But now would be a good point to emphasize that if you want to run an AVB network, you need an AVB capable switch. You can't just go into Best Buy and buy a standard switch off the shelf and hope that it'll work. It needs to have the firmware that supports the AVB functionality. And that's why you need specialist products like the SW5E. I think the SW5E is notable for several uh, different reasons. And let's just talk about the physicality. This thing is a beast. I mean, pretty honest say it may be the, you know, the toughest bit of kit they've ever made. I, I wouldn't doubt that. It really, in the hand, it feels like a very, very expensive bit of kit and a very rugged bit of kit because this is a rock and roll switch. You know, this is meant to go on the road and uh, take the knocks um, in flight cases and on stage, um, wherever you are. It's not like um, your, your standard switch that you would install at home and put in a cupboard, or even an office, put in a cupboard and uh, treat with, um, you know, kid gloves. It hasn't got a wall wart power supply. It's got a decent IEC uh, input lead, which is fantastic. Um, it also supports EtherCon, which are the um, uh, Ethernet connectors inside an XLR shell for extra rugged ability. And you'll know from experience that a lot of pro gear um, uh, provides Ethercon connectivity to protect the endpoints of your Ethernet cable. And the SW5E also provides four ports with PoE, powered over Ethernet. And the reason that's good news is that PreSonus have released the Earmix 16M, which is an AVB networked personal monitor mixer, which allows you to mix uh, 16 down to 2 for monitor purposes. And using the SW5E, you don't need to provide power to your Earmix. It comes down the Ethernet cable. How neat is that? One connection into here and you are away. Now, one of the glories of an AVB network is you don't actually need a router. This all, the whole AVB system works on MAC addresses, On it's a level two system. So every AVB device that you plug in here will um, uh, uh, tell the switch uh, who it is and where it is, and the switch will be able to route traffic between the devices without them necessarily having an IP address. So you can you can put a router in the system, obviously at the top level if you want to log in, but uh, actually if you're on the road, you may not want to do that. You may just want to hang some um, uh, AVB devices off it and get going. And one of the devices that you'll undoubtedly want to put in there is your computer, uh, because then you can run um, a controller, an AVDEC controller, which allows you to root uh, streams, uh, check out all, the, all the, the, the health of your network, and generally uh, be the person in control of the audio. We'll probably come back to that. This is getting too long already. So uh, thanks for dropping in on uh, PPM6 TV. Do check out AVB. It's a great system and deserves more love. PreSonus, I've got to give a big up to them, are, are really got the bit between their teeth. Motu 2 have been at this a long time. And uh, let's hope that together they can push forward what is an open uh, source standard and a cheap standard um, uh, and, and a technically accomplished standard for audio networking. Thanks for dropping into PPM6 TV. Uh, have a good time. See you soon. Bye for now.